Mike. Hey, good to meet you. Good uh, to nice be here. to meet you. Thank you so much for being here. You are uh, quite something. So you graduated okay. this week, both high school and college. Yes, that's correct. So on May 21st, I graduated from college, and on May 28th, I'll graduate from high school as valedictorian. Of course, of course. Thank you. Thank you. So. Has school always been easy for you? Yeah, I mean, I always take in knowledge instantly, so I really don't need a whole lot of review or, say, exam prep, for example. I can always get it instantly. Right, so you, do you have, like, instant, like, do you have uh, photographic memories? Yes, yes. You so do? Pretty much remember anything I see, basically. Yeah, and when you read a book, are you reading at a faster pace than most people also? You know, reading a book, I can just take in tidbits of knowledge and then put it together and create something new so I can make it a whole lot faster, yes. Yeah, but aren't you changing history then? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just making sure. Um, okay, so you, you not only finished high school and college. Yes. You also are running two businesses. Yes, that's correct. What so are those? I have two businesses, Next Era Innovations and Reflect Social. So my first business was Next Era Innovations, where I sold robotic applications for the Now Robot, along with did some contract work as well. And then Reflect Social is my up-and-coming startup where we have all these smart home devices and they're all have different apps and they're all in their separate worlds and it's sometimes hard to use. So by combining them all into one app, we can make it such easier to use. And also I'm gonna put in a more fun and social factor as well. So how did you come up with that idea of combining all the, because that seems like an obvious thing that someone should have thought of already, but how did you come up with this? Right, so actually two years ago, my mom had spinal surgery and she couldn't get off of the couch or out of the bed very easily if someone was coming in to check on her at the door. So what I did was I took a ring doorbell and a smart door lock and I built a facial recognition algorithm to detect the five most common people in our family. So. It would recognize the face and it would unlock the door when it was recognized. But otherwise, if it didn't recognize, it would make sure the door was locked and also send a text to both dad and I and say, this person is at the door, would you like me to unlock the door? And with that, I saw several possibilities for this, say the blind or the elderly to gain more independence. But then also, you know, it ties into my entrepreneurial goal to build technology that enables people to live better lives. It's, it's amazing. I mean... Thank you, thank you. I uh, would like to invest in anything and everything that you're doing. Well, awesome. I'm looking for investors as all well. All right. I, <laughs> I'm there. You're, you're going to be, you know, you already are. But Thank you. You're going to make some incredible uh, companies. So, uh, and you're also working with the government. You're do, doing yes. things for the military. Yes. So I've done six contracts for the United States Special Operations Command. And kind of an interesting thing of how this came out was on a, just a Saturday weekend thing, I built an object detection system that would, still being a kid, detect my Hot Wheels cars. And what was interesting was this, this formula that usually is, and it's on the screen there as well, where I can hold up the cars and it detects things. But the interesting part about it is all the cars were red. So they had to learn the shape of the car rather than the color to say, okay, if it's red, it's a Ferrari, right? And, but also tricking it up, I had a red shirt on. So that's even trickier for it to understand. So having to learn every detail about it. And I put, Dad that owns all my social media, manages it all, and we posted that on social media on LinkedIn, and it went viral. And we got contacted by the military, and it was like, well, we want to hire your son. And Dad was like, uh, you know he's 10, right? <laughs> and, and they were like, well, yeah, but he has the expertise I need. So since then, I've done six contracts and won four different military challenge coins for my efforts. Thank you. I see people's faces out there. They're thinking, my, my kid is not like that. My kid is not, uh, <laughs> is not, is not doing that. All right, uh, you, you graduated, so I want to give you a graduation gift. I know you oh. love exotic cars, and yes, uh, so it just so happens there's a very cool car museum here in Los Angeles. So I'm going to send you and your family. There's a VIP private tour of the Peterson Automotive Museum. Oh, wow. It's a very cool museum, all right? Thank you, thank you. And also, since you had two graduations, one more thing. I know you plan on continuing your education. Our friends at Shutterfly want to help you do that, so they're giving you a check for $20,000. Wow, wow. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Wow. 
All right, come back and see us anytime. And maybe you can explain cryptocurrency to me one day. Sure, yeah, I've been watching that as well. Okay, all right, thanks. I need to know about it. Um, we'll be back.